rounding a few more bends in search of a pleasant sitting log amidst the dappling filtration of sunlight shining off the wet leaves. Gray birch in here. Lots of wet spots. This is a fabulous area for breeding equine encephalitis mosquitoes. Fortunately, the cool time of year has killed most of them. Now here's a really rooty little mess. Rooty tooty. Striking nonetheless, we're passing through more old stone walls. Yeah, it's Rudy for quite a ways. And mid-November light, we look along the wet and Rudy trail heading to Easton. This looks back towards the visitor center and ultimately Plum Island and Newburyport. This gives you a sense of the old second growth pine thing that it is. And this is the way we're heading into the acutely angled sun of the waning daylight time of the year. Solstice isn't that far away. And we're at the little water hazard that indicates we're getting close to Rockland Street. There's another beech tree with its coppery colored late fall leaves. This is our way back towards the visitor center of Borderland and north out through Sharon. This is the water hazard thing I'll venture to cross and hopefully not get in the drink. There we go. <laughs> and this is our way down to Rockland Street and places that seem like Duxbury. There's the stream crossing. We're coming to an upland. Little bends, twists and turns. And soon to be rejoined with the road. Wonderful old stonework, the mother of all stone walls. So there you have it. That takes you north all the way eventually to Plum Island and Newburyport. More immediately, it takes you to the Borderlands State Park Visitor Center and three miles of Sharon before you actually leave the place. And this is 
close to the edge of the parking lot. Sunlight gleaming on the moss and the plethora of Lycopodia. Ah, and we're getting very close to the beloved street. <coughs> Look at this well weathered old log. And this rock wall work indicates here at the edge of the old shovel oligarch's dump, the Ames estate. This is the old carriage way. And so it becomes kind of like your grand entrance or exit when you're coming down from the south. And before long, the trail comes to Rockland Street Avenue Road and uh, it's yet another sort of coy difficult to spot trailhead as you'll see. There's a particularly huge white pine. A really elaborate old stone wall system and that probably demarks the estate boundary which we're passing out of around here. 